We begin at 5 o'clock with that fire department ambulance that sent a couple of paramedics to the hospital. Thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Lauren Freeman. This is just another example of failing equipment at the Houston Fire Department. The ambulance in question showing dangerous levels of carbon monoxide. Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum joining us live now from the department's maintenance yard where that ambulance is being held now. Joel? Lauren, yeah, that ambulance is out of service. It is parked somewhere back there behind me in what is affectionately known as the HFD junkyard, but is really the maintenance depot, not managed by the fire department, though, and that could be part of the problem. This is fire station number three on West Alabama. The city of Houston uses it to protect our crown jewel, River Oaks, except there's a problem. Reserve unit they gave to Medic 3 that they said we had to use. The emergency equipment is not only unreliable Thursday, it was dangerous. Staff gun said inside the cab and show our reading that they said we had to use. The reading from outside the cab. It sent two paramedics to the hospital. The cab. They're okay this time. And what if they'd had a patient in the back? That's a great question. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable, but everyone seems to accept it. The rip driver's seat in the same station's current fire truck is supported by a block of wood. This truck is 19 years old, four to seven years past its expected useful life. Just last week, an HFD fire truck caught fire because of a maintenance issue. Since then, this fire truck and this ambulance have also broken down. The city's aging, questionably maintained emergency equipment issues are endless. This is happening every week. We are having issues. We are having problems uh, with the basic equipment. Both fleet maintenance and HFD declined our interview request today. HFD did stand a statement about the ambulance, quote, the probable cause of their exposure was a result of a malfunctioning onboard generator on the ambulance they were operating. Employee safety is a top priority for the city and the fire department. We're thankful our firefighters are safe and we're working with the fleet maintenance department to ensure this doesn't happen again. I can tell you that confidence has somewhat waned in that fleet maintenance department. That part of the story we're going to address coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live near downtown. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.